Okay, let's continue from where we left. Okay, so I guess we need to add these parts. These are, as we see, these are like cylinders. And these are blocks. So let's go here and take this and this and go to isolate let's turn the turbo smooth off let's collapse this okay now let's press alt and x okay so that we I'll to see through the model. Now let's do this. Let's. We need to create spine actually, but I can create spine from this edge. Like I'll click here, and it goes all the way here. And press create shape from selection, and choose smooth. Press OK. Now we have nice spline here. And now let's move this spline to where we want. Like move it up. Let's make it centered, like so you could rotate like this. Let's stop angle snap tool. Okay. Let's bring it up this one here this one goes here I guess it ends here so let's delete this select edges and delete this one or maybe not delete when Maybe it's better to make break or not. Let's select this vertex and choose break. Now let's separate this and detach it. Okay. So this one needs to be removed too. So let's select this and choose the touch. Okay. Now we need to add enables. Let's add sickness. Good. Isolate this and have a look if something wrong here. Guess yes. We need to remove this one of these edges, one of these vertices. Okay, that's great. Let's choose active. And isolate. Now, from here, we need to create these blocks. Now we can use this spline for the front part. And let's see. Side. Okay, from here we need to have one more going like this. So let's select this segment, move it up. Let's hide the cabin too. And let's move it.
select vertices and move it like this. Okay, let's make it corner. Let's move it here. Something like this. And we need to cut it from here. And that's why let's add vertices here. And now we can delete this. Okay. Okay. Now we gonna let's count how many blocks are here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 17, I guess. So let's count how many polygons here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, something like this. So maybe we just take blocks from here. Okay, let's move it like this by holding shift like this, go on to object. Let's fix the pivot. Move down. Now we need to connect this by using bridge. Use bridge. Let's move it like here so that we could see what's going on okay we i guess we need to move this vertex so that the space between them is equal so let's scale it from the center and move it front okay now let's activate the turbo smooth and again and that's it. Let's select. Let's move it back. Let's add turbo smooth and I select this and convert it to editable poly. Let's select these three edges and choose loop and now we need to get rid of these three lines so press ctrl and backspace we need to delete this one too because this is the front okay maybe we need to delete these ones too and we fix this space like this also we're gonna add some edges that we don't have like maybe two edges one two okay Okay. Let's move it here. And this one, let's move it here. Okay. 
Okay. But this part is not right. Let's do this. Let's take this one and duplicate. Symmetry here. Add symmetry modifier from here. Choose right axis and click here and move it right. Let's bring it back a little bit. Okay. Let's do the same with this blocks symmetry press Z and that's it we just need to place this the right place okay good okay let's collapse this and select the polygons let's move it up a little bit now let's extrude them but by polygon and let's move it back something like this now we have nice blocks i'm gonna fix this once if there's something wrong for instance, this one doesn't have separation. Okay, good. Let's do the thing with the back side. As we see, we don't have completely all the way to the back. We have this empty place here, which doesn't have blocks. Okay, it starts from back and goes with two lines. Maybe we just create this rectangular shape. Let's add this. Let's make it here like this. Let's convert it to editable point now and choose edge and choose green, 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 green. Okay, choose polygon and copy it down. Choose cloned object and delete this. Okay. Now let's see how many blocks we need to create. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make it ten. Like one, two. Let's delete this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, we just need to fix these ones. Okay, let's do the same procedure here. Choose all the polygons and press extrude. Choose polygons and move it like this. Okay, great. Let's move it up. Now also let's make symmetry, close Z, and move it to the left side.
Okay, let's convert it to polygon. Let's fix the pivot. Let's scale it like this a little bit so that it doesn't stay away from the metal. Okay, now let's add materials. So it's gonna be black. This one's two, and this one's two. We also have this black area as a one of these. So we're gonna take this front, double click. Something wrong with this part. Let's see. We have two vertices. Let's collapse this. We can collapse. It means we need to first connect and then collapse. Oh, I can't. Let's see why. I don't know what happened here. Let's delete this. Okay, now we can, I guess, collapse it. This one too. Now let's delete them and close the upper hole. Choose bridge. Okay. Now let's take this bottom part and extrude it. Okay. Now let's choose the vertices and let's scale. So that it covers all the way this front part. And good. Good. Let's add the colors. So this is the red and white. And the bottom top part is red too. So let's pick add this red and this one is white the top is red too and these parts are red too okay only the fans are metallic Metallic. Okay, and these ones, these parts are metallic. Okay, the ground, I guess, is. green and the inner parts of the boat is black is white let's select this inner part choose grow roll let's move it down a little bit also, let's select this edge, choose side edges, and move it down to okay. Now, I guess we need to add one, or maybe we just take this inner part 
which is this choose grow grow and touch it what do you think maybe we just take like this 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 and this also choose small polygons in between them press grow grow and now let's detach it that's it we can color it to dark green Dark green and inner parts of the ship boat is going to be white. So let's select this part, choose white. Let's isolate this. Add color. Okay, let's select everything here. Unfortunately, I don't know fast faster way to select this. Maybe we could use the edge selection, but I started from the polygon and just finish this selection part that's why let's don't mess okay let's add it let's choose okay there's something missing here let's see which polygon we oh this small polygon we forgot okay So let's end isolate and now we have nice white inner part and the green floor. Now we can remove this unused segments. Okay, this and we can scale it a little bit so that it goes into these walls a little bit okay now if we want we can add turbo smooth to smooth things a little bit out okay so in this top part we're gonna have this fountain-like objects it's like a big hose coming here and from here it divides into two and goes up <clears throat> and then a man can stand here and turn things so that this water goes the way he wants and in the rear side we have small winch and that's it and in these parts we're gonna have two metal parts and i don't know what they are for but anyway we need to create this so create cylinder or maybe we just use the lines let's select these two and isolate and choose line and go here and try to draw this this one goes here and second goes here okay let's attach it together let's make them thick
Well, we can duplicate this by holding shift and copy. Let's rotate it like this. And this one too. Okay. Let's bring it here. So let's take these two and move it here. And this one, let's move it here and move it back like this. Okay, let's iron isolate and see if we can understand where these parts go. These two parts can just go here and in between them there is no fence so we can just we can remove them remove these parts and we need to make them thicker okay Let's make it 16 sides and convert to editable poly. Let's select this upper part. We can move it in by using local and extrude this again. And now we can use grow and extrude this local normal, but very subtle. Okay. Now we need to move it right here. And now we're gonna delete. here Let's move it here okay now we need to add refine here one word here and one word here so let's delete this and that's it let's move it here let's move it here okay Let's do the same thing here. Let's add refine and remove this. Copy. That's it. And now we can convert it to a little pulley and attach this. And now we can use symmetry to copy this part to the left. Okay, good. We also need to create this fence, it's like one, two box here. Let's create the box. 
not like real box, the box from the rectangles. Something like and move it up. Mm -hmm, something like this. And we move it down. Okay, and now let's let's make it this one smaller. Like eight. And let's convert to editable poly, split all spline, and delete this one. But before deleting, let's move it like this, and then delete. And after that, we can add refine. And move this vertex down. First, convert everything to corner. Now let's move it down. Okay. And now we can make things smoother by selecting all the vertices and using fillet. Okay, now we can do the same thing here, spline, delete this one, and choose fillet, okay. Now we need two more, like one here, one here, and for this we're gonna use this segment. Let's press shift and rotate it 90 degree. Let's scale it up. Something like this. We can make it thicker. This one make fifteen. Okay. Okay. Now we gonna create these two cylinders here. Okay, let's get rid of segments. Okay, now we're gonna create this part this for the holes. line for this choose line this here and like this okay well, let's make it thicker 
and we're gonna use fillet again. Okay. And we also use the box. Choose align. Now we're going to select this and choose insert and press extrude. Let's move it inside. Okay, and scale from the center. Okay, good. And now we're going to we need to divide this into two parts. Let's create these cylinders, which has holes in them. Unfortunately, I don't have any bigger photos of this. Okay, let's see. We're gonna have two cylinders. Make it small, like 25. Uh, it is 220. 250. This is going to be 20. And I'm going to make it 16 and delete this upper polygon. And I'm going to use the border to model the next parts. So, as we see here, it goes all the way fat and then it gets smaller. It goes like this, this. And from that, it goes somehow, I don't know, maybe we add other cylinders here. Something like this. And then we're going to have sphere. Add two. Let's rotate it. 90 degrees. Scale. Goes up. And then maybe we're gonna create another sphere. Goes here. Let's create this. Well, create a sided cylinder and choose these polygons, choose extrude, 
maybe choose extrude a little and then extrude bigger and then extrude again smaller okay let's see you can make inset here and extrude and then extrude more and delete this let's rotate it 90 degree and now align it here Rotate it 90 degree. Okay. Now we're going to create a line. Choose straight and like this. Line it here. Scale, Scale it. And I guess here you're gonna make fillet. Okay. Now let's make this part silver. Come to editor code. Let's delete these unused edges and polygon two and choose border. Okay. Something like this. Let's choose this one, ring, add connect, choose extrude. Let's move it inside. Okay. Something like this. Something like this, correct. Let's rotate it. Okay, let's move it up. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's move it under this and this one here let's move this sphere here and this one here and we will take these two and detach them
Okay, now I'm gonna use this one more. Okay, one of these needs to go here. Okay, let's color this. This is green, this is red, these all are red. This right one is door. ones up scale like this and let's move this back part inside and let's take these upper parts and extrude them it flat and this one flat too okay good okay I guess our bot is getting ready this let's make it black because oh, something like wood okay and let's make it antenna we're gonna need to have one antenna and it's black thing white thing holds it also, we're gonna need uh, air conditioner units, two of them, and we're gonna need a. I don't know what is it. Yes, container. Okay. So let's. Select this container. It's basically a cylinder. Rotate it like this. Okay. And we're gonna have two AC units here. Okay. 
let's convert that to a body. Mm, choose chamfer. Okay. And let's create this small align is here okay let's delete this Resetics form both of them, and now let's select this and go compound objects, boolean, and pick this cylinder. And now from here, choose subtract. And now we're gonna see that we have a nice object with this hole inside. And now we can go to add our fun. And for this, let's select this cylinder again and align it. Or maybe we'll just delete this. Select object called editable poly and select this one. Press shift and move up. Choose contour object. Now we have this object with the right size of polygons. Let's scale it down. And move it like this now let's select all the polygons choose extrude but by polygon okay now let's do what let's add all this like this but like this also we need to add extra connects here okay let's add three and now let's rotate them let's deselect the latest one Let's select this. Okay. Something like this. Let's make it centered pivot. Okay. Let's move it like bevel. Okay. Let's move it here. Let's choose the black. Let's make it white entire. AC unit. Also, let's make back and sides black. Okay. So let's copy this to the right. Good. Now it has three. Belts. Let's add three segments like this. Now let's chamfer them. 
Okay. Now let's select them. Choose ring and press control and select polygon. And now extrude them, but local normal. Like this. And I'm gonna make it through here. Okay, let's do the same here. Barrel, extrude. Okay, now I'm gonna need a box to hold it. Choose box. Align it here. Now create Converted to the poly and move the lines so that it can hold it. Like this. And add like this too. Move it like this. Okay. Now let's Okay, let's select all the vertices and choose connect. Now let's go to modifier and choose lattice. Let's choose struts only. Let's decrease the radius. And let's add sides. Let's make it two millimeters. And that's both. And now let's decrease these sides. Okay. Let's make them white too. Okay, now let's create antenna. Let's copy this. Convert to Oli. Let's select everything except bottom part. Let's move like this. It goes all the way up like three times high of this box. Close here. Okay. Now let's select this one to scale. Okay, let's fix the pivot. Let's close the holes, choose cap. Now let's create lines. Let's press here. Okay, let's make it eight. 
Let's convert that to fully and attach this. Let's move it to the center. Okay. Now let's rotate this 120 degree and choose copy. Now let's delete this cylinder and attach it one together. Let's rotate it now 180 degree. Okay, and let's make it white. That's it. Have nice bolt with these nice details. And we're gonna add all extra details in the next tutorial. Thank you and see you next time. Bye bye.